Danny did plenty of riding on the Seattle Seahawks over the weekend, their rookie mini camps. Pete Carroll did plenty of talking as well, both Friday and Sunday. And he made mention the two guys offensively. Two skilled position guys are going to be vying and getting number one reps when the veterans come to town. That being Chris Harper, Luke Wilson. What kind of shot do you give them at, at, at defining some roles coming into the season? I think you already see Luke Wilson's role. Now he's a guy that was drafted in large part because of his speed. Seattle saw him as a tight end even though this past year, his senior season at Rice, he was the backup to Vance McDonald who was a second round pick. Caught nine passes. It's not kind of the profile you usually see of a guy picked in the fifth round but he had been productive early in his career. He had some injuries last year. He had a high ankle sprain and a lower back issue. But what you saw this weekend, what he's, he's going to be the fastest tight end Seattle has. Now, how does that translate when they start having contact and, and, and put the pads on? Can he block well enough? They are going to try to use him and see if he can be kind of that deep threat. Harper's a little different, and this is going to be really interesting to see where he fits in because you already have Percy Harvin, mm -hmm. Golden Tate, Sidney Rice, mm -hmm. Doug Baldwin. Those are already, it's not like you're running out of room but it is an issue for a team that runs the ball 55% of the time like they did last year. Are there going to be enough passes to go around? But Harper is a different kind of receiver, both in terms of his lower body strength yeah. and his hands. You know, it's pretty incredible. It's for all this talk of this roster, and rightfully so, and everything they've done this offseason and where they rank, and most executives are going to put San Francisco and Seattle at the top of the list. And Danny, what did they go do in this draft? They continue to find guys' talents that are unique to this locker room. We can't say this enough. Every position group that you added to, well, you got a guy in many different ways that is so unique in their skill set and that's why I think they're going to be able to find some little niche roles for so many of these rookies this fall. One of the things that's great to mention about Chris Harper too is that he's going to play special teams and that is the route for a lot of these guys if these rookies are going to get on the field they're going to have to become kind of that mainstay special teams player. Now Chris Harper is a guy he was recruited as a quarterback very high-end recruit out of Kansas spent a year at Oregon transferred back to Kansas State but if he's going to make this team right off the bat it's going to be because he can replace Ben Obamani in terms of that value role as a core special teams player. So you got a problem? You don't think quarterbacks can play special teams? How many what? How many times do you run down on punt coverage? Yeah, that's zero. 